Hi, today I'm going to go over the V as in vertical stack function in Excel. It's a great function that can save you a lot of time. So an example of a time that you would want to use it, basically what it does is it will vertically stack different arrays of data that you can specify. So for example, let's say that we've got a sales report and we've got multiple tabs for each region. So this is the Midwest, Southeast, East. They all look the same. They all have different number of reps. And all they do is they give me what region it is, what the rep is, and then how many sales that rep had. And what I want to do is I want to get a combined list and then whatever. I can make a pivot table off of that. I can analyze it. I can do what I want to do with it from there. So typically if it were me, I would be, you know, copying, pasting, and then each time that data changes, it gets refreshed with new sales numbers. Um, I would have to go back and paste it again. The other thing I could do is I could say equals this and then point it back to the Midwest and then go out to the Southeast. Now the issue here is what happens if I get a new rep, right? Then this, these formulas aren't going to work. Obviously I would have to add the East, but great solution to that issue there. First step will be to convert each individual tab to a table. So I selected anywhere within the data set and I pressed control T to create the table. I'll select OK, and then I'm just going to give this table a name. I will very originally call it MW for Midwest. And repeat that process on the Southeast and the East tab. So I selected the data, Control T, OK. I'll call it Southeast. I'm going to go to the East tab again, Control T there, OK. Call it East. Now, on my combine tab, I can say equals V stack. And then I'll come in here, I'll come to my Midwest tab. I will select the first rep and go down. And you can say that'll give me a dynamic reference to Midwest. So now I'll know that the next one will be Southeast. And I'll have to tell it it's the table. And then the next one will be the East table. Close it. It creates an array here of everything. And then I can go insert a pivot table, do whatever I want. Say that I want to look at sales but instead of looking at it like this i want to sort it um, by sales who had the most to the least sales so now i've got that consolidated list very easily now the great thing about this is, let's say that we add a couple reps to the Midwest. So I just added 608, 609, 610, 611. I come back to my combine right there, 608, 609, 610, 611. They come right through. So I can add whatever I want, however many I want. I just took east all the way down to 818 and now in my combined table east goes all the way down to 818 so that is a combination of the v stack and creating tables that allows us to do that